Welcome to CRM Product Design Essentials. Earlier, we discussed the typical development steps for B2B products. Our curriculum structure will follow the following main stages. 1. Business Analysis 2. Product Planning 3. Prototyping 4. Creating PRD Documents The purpose of this arrangement is to cater to e-learning. We extract the most essential parts of designing and developing a CRM system for learning, enabling you to quickly master the core skills of designing and developing CRM systems. Firstly, what is business analysis? Why is it important? Business analysis is the most important thing in customer research. Business analysis is the process of identifying business needs and determining solutions to business problems. It involves understanding the structure, policies, and operations of an organization and then recommending solutions that enable the organization to achieve its goals. In the B2B product industry, business analysis is particularly crucial due to the specificity of the industry. B2B products often involve complex business processes, multiple stakeholders, and industry-specific requirements. Without a deep understanding of the business, it is challenging to design a product that effectively meets the needs of the users and the industry. Therefore, thorough business analysis is essential for the successful development of B2B products. The key steps of business analysis are as follows. 1. Understanding the glossary. 2. Analyze department structure, roles, and core processes. After conducting customer research, the next steps in the product development process involve translating the gathered insights into actionable plans and structures. This includes creating core process diagrams to visualize the essential workflows and interactions within the product. These diagrams serve as a blueprint for the development team, guiding them in implementing the necessary functionalities and user interactions. Establishing the product structure and features is crucial. This involves outlining the overall architecture of the product, defining its key components, and identifying the core features that align with the identified customer needs and market demands. This step lays the foundation for the subsequent development and design phases. Developing a product roadmap is essential for outlining the strategic vision and timeline for the product's evolution. The roadmap serves as a high-level plan that aligns the product's development with the company's goals and market opportunities. It provides a clear overview of the product's future direction, including major milestones, feature releases, and potential enhancements. Creating a product feature list is a critical task that involves detailing the specific functionalities and attributes that the product will encompass. This comprehensive list serves as a reference for the development team, ensuring that all planned features are accounted for and aligned with the customer research findings and strategic objectives. When analyzing a CRM system, learning the glossary is indeed an important step. The glossary helps us establish a common language and understanding. In a CRM system, there may be many specialized terms and industry-specific vocabulary that are crucial for understanding the system's functionality and processes. By learning the glossary, we ensure that team members have a consistent understanding of the terms, avoiding misunderstandings and communication barriers. This promotes teamwork, improves efficiency, and ensures that we use the correct terminology during the analysis and design process. Learning the glossary helps us better understand the business logic and functionality of the CRM system. By familiarizing ourselves with the terms, we can accurately identify user needs and ensure that our design solutions align with business goals. You can find the basic explanations of CRM glossary on the Tiger website at https colon slash slash www.businessnewsdaily.com slash 10050-crm-software-terms.html or https colon slash slash www.vtiger.com slash crm-glossary. These core terms are not too many, just a few dozen. By learning them, you will gain a basic understanding of CRM systems. Next, we need to analyze the architecture of a company's CRM system and conduct department and role analysis. The objective of this process is to determine who will use our products and understand their needs, pain points, and expectations. For CRM products, it involves multiple roles, so conducting first-hand user research is crucial. Identifying their system requirements is key, as it adds value to the CRM system. Assuming we are designing a CRM system, here are the main departments and the employees who typically use the CRM system. Sales team. Sales representatives. One of their core demands is efficient lead management. In a CRM system, they would benefit from features such as lead tracking, contact management, and task management. For example, the CRM system can provide a centralized platform where sales representatives can easily track and update leads, schedule follow-ups, and view the status of each lead in the sales pipeline. 
This helps them stay organized, prioritize their efforts, and close deals more effectively. Sales managers. They require features for performance tracking and providing guidance to the sales team. A CRM system can offer dashboards and reports that provide real-time insights into key performance indicators KPIs such as sales revenue, conversion rate, average deal size, and sales cycle length. This allows sales managers to monitor individual and team performance, identify areas for improvement, and provide targeted coaching and support to their team members. Marketing team. Marketing managers and marketing analysts. CRM system can provide features for lead generation and campaign management. For example, it can track and analyze website traffic, capture leads from various sources, and measure the conversion rate of marketing campaigns. This helps marketing managers and analysts understand the effectiveness of their strategies, optimize marketing efforts, and generate valuable insights for decision-making. Customer Service Team Customer Service Representatives and Customer Service Managers A CRM system can offer features for efficient customer support and issue resolution. It can provide a centralized database of customer information, including previous interactions and purchase history, enabling representatives to provide personalized and timely support. Additionally, the system can track key metrics such as first response time and average resolution time, helping managers monitor performance and identify areas for improvement. Finance Team Finance managers and accountants a CRM system can integrate with financial systems and provide features for managing customer accounts and financial transactions. It can track revenue growth, profit margins, accounts receivable turnover, and cash flow. This allows finance managers and accountants to have a comprehensive view of financial data, generate accurate reports, and make informed financial decisions. By understanding the needs and goals of each department and employee, we can design a CRM system that caters to their specific requirements while aligning with the overall business objectives. Executive Team Executive managers play a crucial role in the adoption and utilization of a CRM system from a buyer's perspective. Executive managers require access to high-level insights and analytics provided by the CRM system to make informed strategic decisions. For example, they may use CRM data to identify market trends, evaluate the performance of different business units, and determine the overall direction of the company. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and share with others. Thank you.